Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about difference between public and private universities. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in case if you are new to the channel, so my name is Utkarsh, I live in Poland, I make vlogs. If you are new then make sure you check out my channel and consider subscribing to my channel. So without further ado, so let, let, let's start the video, okay? Let's... So before proceeding with the video, I just want to tell you that this video is actually sponsored by Skillshare and Skillshare is an online platform where you can literally learn anything. You can learn languages, you can learn photography. You can learn business marketing and you can learn there are so many courses. The crazy part of all this, if you sign up with my link, you'll get two months of free trial. You can actually cancel it anytime if you don't like it. So just make sure you check the link in the description. So I want to start this video with an example just to make things a bit more clear. So you'll have an overall idea like what I'm talking about. So let's say there were two boys. One name was Ram and the other boy name was Sham. So Ram scored really good marks in his 12th and the Sham, he didn't really score very good marks. I would say he was a decent, you know, like average student. Ram applied in a very good public university here in Poland and Sham, he applied in a private university. So Ram, his marks were already good. So the university accepted him. Uh, Sham, he also got accepted in a private university and Sham went through a consultancy. That's a point to be noted. So both Ram and Sham, they came to Poland. They studied for three years. They studied their bachelor. After three years studying in a university in Poland, Ram applied for a job after his bachelor and Sham also applied for the job. The boy Ram, he got accepted easily for the job just because he was from a public university. His overall knowledge of the subject was really up to the mark. And at the same time, Sham, he didn't got accepted just because he took a private university which was not very reputed and second because of his irrelevant courses he took as his majors. So the whole idea of telling this story was just to give you a clear view how things will look like after you graduate so that you don't want to be in the situation of Sham. So now let's talk about the major differences between public and private universities. First of all, the major difference is funding. The public universities are usually funded by the government. So they are state funded and they have a lot of funds and they will have a lot of opportunities for you to do some research work, have better faculties. They will have better facilities overall in comparison to a private university. Usually in public universities, the tuition fees will be a lot lesser if you compare to the expensive private schools. But I would say you shouldn't just choose a university just because of your tuition fees uh, but I'm not saying that all the public universities here are very cheap there are some public universities which are kind of expensive if you are planning to study in English so the tuition fees of the public university will be starting from 3,000 euros I'm talking about studying in English same for the private university they can be around 3,500 to 4,000 euro per year the difference between the tuition fee is not very significant but yes, there are some private schools which are very expensive and those are the business schools I'm talking about. So now let's talk about the reputation of the universities. So usually the public universities here in Poland, they have a very much higher reputation in comparison to the private schools. There are not many good private schools here in Poland which have a very good reputation but yes there are few of them and i've already made a video about it just make sure you check out my videos of the top universities in poland i'll also put the link in the description so you can just go and check it out in few cases it may be possible that in a private university you are getting a lot of study option in english but most of the public universities here in poland they have a wide variety of courses when it comes to engineering and management but when it comes to art and social science i would say there are not many public universities which offer uh, good courses in English most of their courses are in Polish so in that case you can choose a private university just because you want to study that particular course you should always see whether the university is providing you that platform you need after you graduate you know just for your exposure just for your uh, things you want to do after you graduate so now let's talk about the size so usually the public universities they are huge they have so many buildings the public universities are very old they have so many old buildings they have so many departments at the same time the private university they have a smaller campus, they have few buildings and few faculties. So there are other few major differences between public and private universities which should be noted. And the first of all is the enrollment in public universities. It starts a lot earlier in comparison to the private universities. So most public universities here in Poland, they offer paid courses and most of the times they don't take entrance exam. They will just take an online interview just to see your motivation and just to see your English language proficiency. So when it comes to recruitment, the public universities, they don't really care much 
much about a particular candidate they won't reply to your emails you know very promptly they will take time to reply your emails while at the same time in private university they will be very prompt they will be asking you to submit your documents and they will give you the acceptance letter very easily so private universities are very flexible when it comes to deadline and it comes to admission for example if the deadline has already passed so if you are still interested in going for their particular course you can just you know contact the um, international office of that particular university there is a higher chances that they will still give you the admission and the admission in a private university is comparatively a lot easier in private university students are the king because they are paying the fees and literally they are running that university but in public universities this is not the case you know the professors the lecturers they are the king they are the one you know runs the university also it should be noted that in poland usually the shorter the name of the university the better the reputation of the university will be so in poland most of the private university they are named like wyszkoła szkola which literally translate to higher schools or higher education the politechnika or the state university are always the public university for example university of wrocław or politechnika wrocław they are the public university so the public university usually goes with the you know shorter names like uh, universitet uh roklowski or you know politechnika brasov so the shorter the name the better it is so after you graduate from any of the public or private university you will have that european degree and your degree allows you to work in poland so with your degree you don't need any work permit so to sum it up i would say whether you should go for a public or private universities i would say always go for a public universities here in poland this is not america this is not uk you should always go for a public universities for the better reputation or for the better future also at the same time there are few private universities here in poland which public universities can't compete with there are some very good management universities one of them is kozminski it's always better to check the credibility of your course or to check the credibility of the subject you want to study in that case um you can always contact the alumni of that particular university or the people who are currently studying so to get an you know better overview in the end i would say the brand name of the university won't help you to get into that particular job you need to have skills you need to have academic excellence to you know land into that particular job make sure you know what you are studying give your best do what you love and love what you do my main motive to film this video was because there were so many people texting me that whether i should go for a public or private university in the recent years there have been few incidents where people were enrolled in some private university and which was blacklisted by the government so all those people you know their degree was useless they had to go back to india or their particular country and those people who studied from those universities they couldn't find job still i know few people who are studying in private university and they have graduated and they are really suffering in private universities first of all they don't teach you the uh, relevant courses they just you know mix everything few of my friends who graduated from private university they were really struggling for the job just because they were studied in that particular private university the course was really messed up and they didn't really study what was mentioned in that course structure the professor switch they were told to take another major and it was so messed up so in private universities they will just let you pass the course they will just give you the degree with the money it's not really worth it uh, it's somewhat same like india you know back in india we have the same like public and private university in most cases the private universities are not very reputed or not in comparison with the public university getting into public university in india is very hard but here is not that case the population here is very less and if you have decent academic profile you can easily get into any of the public universities here in poland it's not a problem it's not very hard um i would also say in the public universities here in poland there are so much spaces there are so many courses that even sometimes the spaces are left empty and you just need to have basic requirements to get into that particular public university it's not very hard to get into the public university is very easy you just need to have decent academic background and you are done so i don't really understand why people have to go to that private university just because some consultancy is suggesting you to go to that private university you shouldn't go for it so the truth about the consultancy is that they have the commission based they have that you know collaboration with that particular private university they are sending you to that particular private university and they are getting commission out of it so every year when you are paying the tuition fees the particular consultancy they are getting a part of it they are getting you know your commission they are getting your money i mean you can go to consultancy if you don't have any ideas if you look for things online everything is online bro it's very easy to apply to this university it's very easy to get accepted to do everything by your own just go and do your research just don't pay money to consultancies please
So that's pretty much for this video. I really hope you got something out of this video or this video helped you in one way or another. If you did, just make sure you hit a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Till then, peace. Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about the difference between public and private universities and which one you should choose from.